You know, I, I, I give a lot of credit. You mentioned this man earlier, uh, Dave Chappelle. You work with him. You knew him when he was very young. Uh, him being on a nutty professor, he was he was still skinny. Little Dave Chappelle hadn't blown up yet. I I and I'm a fan. I'm not a comedian. I, I'm I'm just a person who is a fan of comics, and I like to get your thoughts because to me, Dave has stepped from being a funny comedian to to. He's he's goat level, but he's goat level because he is unwilling to be censored, unwilling to accept the status quo or accept that this can potentially ruin my career. And when people are willing to push the boundaries, knowing the repercussions that could come to them, they go to a different level altogether. And that's why I love this man so much. From a comedian standpoint, do you guys look at a, 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 a Dave Chappelle in a way like, you know, th th this guy's almost a revolutionary in, in some regards. He is somebody who is so fearless, even at the, at, at the extent that it, it might cost him his career. Well, we, 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 we in the comedy community, because there have been a lot of discussions around that, we've compartmentalized what you just said. So uh, let me preference this by saying I'm a huge Dave uh, Chappelle fan. I, I knew him when we did The Nutty Professor. You can check all these things. Before he blew up, uh, they used to call him Pilot Boy because he shot so many pilots and none of them got picked up and he kept pushing forward. Uh, and I think he's a genius. But having said that, there's a certain comfortability that comes with uh, being rich and successful. And, and, and by that, I mean, Dave has made so much money now. So what can they really do today? You know what I mean? He has that freedom because if Dave never tells another joke, if he never work, uh, does stand up again, he's not going to suffer. So that gives you a certain amount of freedom to be able to say the things that you want to say and do what you want to do. For those of us that are on the rise, that are trying to get to that status, uh, and, and, and by that I mean for those of us who have to continue working, who have to, who can't just say, hey, you know what, I had a good run. I'm just going to ride off in the sunset. It's a different ball game. And so uh, I said all that to say, I love what he's doing, but you have to also take in consideration. There's no such thing of uh, right now of him jeopardizing his career. There's no such thing of, uh, of him not being able to work in this town or whatever, because he'll always be able to work. He'll always be able to go, you know, to a comedy club or a venue and people will pay to see him. So uh, I love what he's doing. I think he's immensely talented. He's one of my favorites. But to answer your question and to be very specific, you know, you have to take that element out because he has long passed any type of punishment that would be significant enough to impact his life, especially financially. You know, I, 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 I don't know that I agree with that, Doug. I, I don't. And, and I'm going to tell you why. Tell, tell that to Matt Lauer. You know, Matt Lauer was making $20 million a year. The face of the Today Show for, for 25 years or something like that. He gets caught up in a scandal. You never heard from him again. There's so many people that top of their career, they're, top, they, they, they're the top. And they do something that is that goes against the societal... I don't even want to call it norms because it's not. It's 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 what's you 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 are now. Um, you're just going against society and and what we think. And I it, I can't really put it into words. And but I think that's I, I think that's a, a poor example that you just gave because you know Dave is different. Dave is wow. not he he's not trying to do movies. He's not. All he wants to do is his stand up. So if Matt Lauer was a stand up comedian and he did, you think he would stop? You think people wouldn't pay to see him now? Or after that incident happened? You think, in fact, his tick, look at what happened to Chris Rock. Chris Rock is a prime example. Before that slap that Chris Rock received on the thing, he was selling tickets. He was doing okay. He was out trying to get his new special and he was doing, after that slap, he started, his tickets jumped up to like five or $600. So, there's a certain 
amount of success that comes with controversy. I mean, the greatest of that is Donald Trump. No, but 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 I, I'm not arguing, or I'm not disagreeing that that controversy sells. We know that, but I still think that Dave going. I mean, I have watched this woke culture that we live in, this politically correct culture that we live in, destroy careers. But how can they, that, thing, that, that's my question to you. How can they destroy his career? Tell me how could they destroy Dave's career? What can they do to him? You can say that in 2023, but let's go back to when Dave Chappelle left the Chappelle show, left $50 million on the table. He went over to Africa. He stayed there for a few months. People said he's on crack, he's on drugs, he's crazy, he's this, he's that. His career was literally in the tank. The media had created a whole narrative that wasn't true. And when Dave came back, he came back doing small clubs. He stayed on the road. He built himself back up, but he also came back with the mentality of effort. This is what I love to do. And if I can't do it my way, I don't want to do it at all. But I can also to point out to you, and maybe you can see it from, from my vantage point, you, you, you said he's rich and, and there's nothing that can be done. I, I come from an industry that, that celebrates excess and celebrates people being uh, uh, beyond rich and, and, and opulence. You, Kevin Hart, is is it the top of the comedy game? Do you think Kevin Hart would touch on a fragment of the things that Dave Chappelle touches on? He wouldn't even go close to the line that Dave Chappelle not only crossed, but he crossed, jumped over it, and kept blazing new trails. I, I, rich people like to stay rich. People who are working, they like to keep working. And and I, I just but, but 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 Dave and Kevin are on two different paths. What's important? Kevin, to Kevin wants to stay working. That's the path he's on. But but so does Dave, and he's still working. But where but they he wants to, he wants to work. Do he wants to work his way? That's right. That but listen, I'm saying. go ahead. But, but where they want to work is different, and how they want to work is different. Dave Chappelle just wants to do stand up comedy. He wants to be a comedian. He's doing what he wants to do. So they haven't taken anything away from him or stopped him from doing what he wants to do. Now, if he was on that path, he, I mean, you just said it. Hollywood has never really been important to him. He walked away from $50 million. So that wasn't important to him, them putting the things in. And this, they stepped back himself. They didn't stop him. He stepped back. And then he started coming back. He had been away. He started doing stand up at clubs and this and that because he was getting his feet wet back into something that he wanted to do. He's really wanted to do what he's doing. So I want you to understand where I'm coming from. I want you to, and I want your audience to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, they could block Dave from doing movies. They could block Dave from getting a sitcom or being on television, but that's not what he wants to do. He's doing what he wants to do. Do you think with all this controversy, Netflix is not gonna stop him from getting, if he wanted to do a Netflix special right now, he could. Because of the controversy, because people are gonna be saying, hey man, let's see what he's gonna talk about now. So I want you to understand what I'm saying. Number one, Dave has never been controlled by Hollywood because he has never sought to be like Kevin Hart, which is nothing wrong with that, but that's not Dave's lane. So Matt Lauer, yeah, Matt Lauer wants to be that guy on the Today Show in front of that and then that. So they blocked that. They blocked something that was dear to his heart. They haven't been able to do that with Dave. And I don't think they can do that with Dave. So. That's what I mean. I just want to make sure that you and I are on the same page with that. No, nah, we're not going to be on the same page with this, Doug. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I understand the point you're making. And where me and you fundamentally disagree is I believe when you, when, because you're saying that, that Hollywood is not important to Dave. Says who? That you just said that he did countless pilots that people called him pilot boy or whatever they was calling him. There he was a time. There was a time when it was important to him. When, we, when don't, we don't know. We don't know if if it became not important once he went to Africa and had an, an, an awakening. 
But the point of the matter is he believed in something greater. And, and we, to me- and but, but, but you and I are in the same, you and I are in agreement with that. You and I yes. are in complete agreement with that. Well, and I, I, I need to be refreshed as to where we're disagreeing because- uh, Go ahead. He hasn't been, he hasn't been canceled. You know, he, they haven't taken, to me, canceling means they take away from you something that you want to do. We just saw that with Kyrie. Kyrie, he went and saw yep. the thing. Yep. They took basketball away from him. He really wanted basketball. So he came forth uh, with an apology. He was contrite. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause anything because he wanted to get back something that he really wanted. Give me an example of where that has happened with Dave. Not even with the, the sketch comedy show. They canceled it. That didn't bother him. He never came back and said, hey, guys, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I just want my sketch comedy show back. He's never done that. With, 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 with Kevin Hart, you know, and I don't know Kevin to that degree, but if they took away his movies, if they took away his ability to do these commercials, and, and he's, he, he's more commercial than they, that probably would hurt Kevin Hart. He probably would be contrite at that point and say, hey, look, you know, I'm sorry, or what have you. I don't see that with Dave. So unless you can give me an example where they've done something to Dave that has affected him to, to the point to where there was some remnants of remorse, then I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand. You have to give me an example of what you're talking about. Okay. And, and, and I've allowed you to talk and I'm just asking you to give me the same uh, consideration I just gave you. You, where you and I are fundamentally disagreeing is you are making an assumption that Hollywood, that television is not, was not important to Dave. That is where we disagree. You, you are now speaking from a, a, a 2023 lens, looking backwards. And I'm speaking from the day that they canceled this man because he was canceled before cancel was even a thing. He was literally canceled, thrown under the bus. All types of, of, of narratives were put out on this man. So for you to, to say Hollywood's not important to him, did you sit down and have a conversation with him? Did, did, did you get to the bottom of it and say, Dave, what's it? All you know, and all we all know, is that Dave came back with a mindset that if I can't do it my way, I don't want to do it at all. So, th so that's one point I want to make. But we can go through history. You, you talk about uh, uh, the, 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 the powers that be taking away things that, that matter most to people. How do you explain Muhammad Ali? You, 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 you can look over my shoulder, my idol, a guy who, who, who I look up to as one of the greatest human beings to ever walk this planet. They took away the thing that he loved the most in the prime of his life, but he believed in something more. He, he, was, he was working for something greater. And because of that, it immortalized him. It made him more than a boxer. It made him more than a, 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 a prize fighter. It, 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 it put him on a plateau of the greatest that he still mentioned in conversation years after his demise. So we don't I, disagree I, on that. We don't disagree on that. But, but that it, I'm just proving you, you, you said name, name some where, where they take away something that you love. No, no, I said name something in Dave Chappelle, not with those people, with Dave Chappelle. Now, but, but, it, but it's the same thing. But for him, it wasn't worth doing if it wasn't worth doing from his heart. If y'all are going to censor me, if you're going to shackle me, if you're going to cancel me, I don't want to play by your rules. It's the same. I don't care if you're talking about Donald Trump. I don't care if, and I hate to put Donald well, Trump. Well, we're in, in agreement with that. We, we're in agree. You and I agree on that point. I, you, I'm in total agreement with you on. So that's why I'm confused. Where are we disagreeing? Because we're agreeing. What, 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 what I'm no. saying, I'm in, I'm in agreement with all of that. But you have to realize, Dave walked away from his show. They didn't take that from him. He walked away from his show. He has made decisions himself, uh, you and I in agreement, with what he believes in. He didn't want to, I mean, and, and, and things that I'm telling you, he's on record as saying, you know, he's on record as saying, hey, they wanted me to put on a dress. It wasn't that big. It wasn't, it, it wasn't that big for me. You know, I didn't want to do it. 
These are things that he has said. I he didn't want to do it if he was going to, if, if he couldn't do it his way. I, I, you can't leave that part out, Doug. I That's agree with that. I agree with that. I, you and I are in agreement with that. Where we seem to be, you know, we've been on this point so long. Where we seem to, to disagree is when I said to you that he's at a point now where if they do those things to him, he's not going to suffer financial repercussions. Okay, stop, the stop same there. financial stop, repercussions. Stop there. Stop there. Okay. That's 2023. That is the last five, six years. Right. And he was at that point in 2005 or whenever it was that he left his, his, his show that he won awards for. That, that's my point. Is is he was he was at a crossroads where he could be uh, he could adapt and do things the way that the establishment wanted him wanted him to, or he could make a decision and say, you know what, if I don't do it the way it's in my heart, the way God had given me this talent, the the reason why I love comedy in the first place, if I don't do it that way, then I don't want to do it at all. And if I got to go and just do small clubs for the rest of my life, that's what it is. So, so you're talking from today, and I, I don't think it's fair to the conversation to, to position it from 2023. Go back to when 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 his his life was on the line when but nobody was, wanted to hire him. I agree with that. No, 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 no. They would hire him. They wanted him to come back to the show. They didn't cancel him back then. He wasn't canceled. And I want you to understand that, Sean. When he walked away from that show and they put all those narratives out about people were throwing deals at him, Sean. You know, uh, who did he do that for Comedy Central? HBO, all of, you think those people were saying, hey, we don't want to deal with Dave Chappelle. He didn't do anything back then to cancel himself. He didn't do anything morally bad. You understand? He didn't attack yes. Jews. He didn't attack gays. He didn't do, he stood on his own merit of his own principles. Everybody has to respect that, right? If, if somebody wants you, if somebody right now came and offered you a part to play a gay guy, and you said, hey, I, I, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I don't have anything against gays, but that's not me. I don't want to do that. They're not going to punish you for that. They're not going to punish. What he's receiving now is punishable because now he's talking about the, the, trans, the, the, trans, uh, 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 the trans community. He's talking about, he did uh, Saturday Night Live. He talked about the Jews. He wasn't doing that back then, Sean. He wasn't doing things that were considered wrong or right morally unethical to people of society. He was relegated. It's almost like, you know, the old saying when they say, you know, when somebody drinks, they're hurting themselves. A person that drinks in, the, in their house that doesn't go out and cause problems, they just drink in their home. He was drinking in the home. So I want you to understand that. He wasn't canceled back then. He wasn't canceled back then. He made a conscious decision himself. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. So I don't, I, that's where I think that we're, we're, we're coming in. There wasn't a drum beat to cancel him back then. And if there was, please explain to me why there was a drum beat, because that was his own personal choice. He didn't want to wear a dress. He didn't like the writing that was going on. So he quit. Now, he got a, a lot of flack because he quit. Uh, $50 million was behind, it, was behind it. And people were saying, you know, if anything, hey, man, here's a black man that, you know, can't be bought out. That was a little, you know, maybe a little turbulence behind that. But what did he do? to cause cancellation back then. What he's doing now is considered to be a reason to cancel him. That's my point. Okay. Um, and I'll make this last point and then we can move on because we've been on this for a second. And, uh, and, and, and by the way, make sure you edit this up because uh, we, we still got a lot of good stuff to go through. So maybe yeah, you can I, just, I, edit this no, up. No, no, I got you. Um, with Dave... The reason why you see him doing things that will get him canceled today, in all of our lives, there's a moment. There, 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 is, there, is, there is a, a, a catalyst that can change the course of your life. So you are right. I don't know what he was doing on uh, Comedy Central with, with the Chappelle show and in his standups, if those were cancelable uh, uh, events. But what I do know 
is when he had a chance to sit on the sidelines and assess his life and walk away from $50 million, he decided it was the catalyst that changed it all. I won't be controlled. I want to do comedy my way. I want to tell jokes that are raw, that are uncensored, that, that are in, in many ways are taboo. And I am going to go there with it, whether they cancel me or not. I'm going to play by my own rules because if not, it's not worth it for me as a human being, as a comedian, to play the game at all. So I think that that you, to, 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 if, if we're going to agree on something, I'll agree. W was he canceled back then by by, by the networks and in and, and, and by Hollywood? Probably not. I don't know. But there was a narrative put out there on him, and many people probably would not have worked with him right away. Maybe they would have future. Who knows? But that 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 small area that small period in his life that would have broke most people or would have made most people say you know what i gotta play this game the way that they want me to play it or else i'm not going to be able to feed my family he interpreted it very different i'll feed my family if i gotta work at a lo local grocery store but if I'm gonna do comedy, I have to do it my way. And I now I'm going all the way out there with it because this is what comedy is supposed to be. So I, I don't know if we're disagreeing or we're agreeing, but I, I just- I agree it. with you. I, 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 and, and, and we'll button it up with this. Keep in mind, I'm in the comedy world. Mm -hmm. So I just like when you were in the music world, behind mm -hmm. the scenes, what we hear it out in public you heard something different within that within the, within the confines of that. I've lived in this comedy world, so I've heard the chatter or what have you. So we're in total agreement. I respect what he did. Uh, the initial thing that you asked me uh, to sum it up was, is he taking chances? And this is how I interpret it to the point that it could cancel him. And what I was saying to you at this point- oh, No, that wasn't the initial question. Uh, and that wasn't, I, I was just saying is, is he- Right, right. But that was one of the things that came- Is he up. a hero to, yeah, to a certain extent, he's which you guys, but he's taking the chances a hero, he's taken. And he's always been respected among his peers for taking the stand that he took with Comedy Central and it was long overdue. So he's a hero in that sense. He's one of my favorites. I just made the point that Dave is at the point at the point now where they can't do anything to him. They can't prevent him from doing what he's doing right now, which is his love of doing stand-up comedy. But you and I are on the same point. He's a hero. I respect what he did. You know, I'm a Malcolmite. You know, I'm, I'm a history buff. There are very few things in Black history that you can talk about that I'm not familiar with. So you know, kudos to those guys. We're on the same page, but it, it made for a great conversation. I love to debate. No, I, so 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 did I. This was different. This was a very very different um conversation I expect to have, and I loved every second of it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.